Hey everybody, welcome back to Satisfactory. The grind for uranium and nuclear power continues. Woo! Uh, we are working on getting our steel pipe set up for our encased beams, and we are working on getting our concrete over here also for our encased beams. Why is there no steel going into you? You don't have a belt. Why didn't you have a belt? You don't have a belt either. Oh no. Is there an error in my blueprint where every second one doesn't have a belt? Oh god, how many times have I used this blueprint? That's real bad. Okay. Um, yeah, that's real bad. <laughs> that's what that is. Shoot. I'm going to have to go back and check different parts of the base, but not right now. Right now, we're going to finish getting our concrete over here, as we discussed a long, long time ago. Okay. Um, now, both of these should be running, and they are. Which means all of you should be running... I mean, I guess technically you are. You're not for some reason. Are we not taking 120? Oh, we're only taking... Oh. So I could put a third one of these in here. And I should put a third one of these in here. Let's put a third one of these in here. Also, I am completely forgetting... Uh, tonight's drink is called a nuclear wasted. It's a crazy green color. It's it's pretty good. It's blue curacao, um, melon liqueur, vodka, orange juice, and I use soda water, but it calls for like a sprite or something. Uh, soda water makes it less sweet. I think it's pretty good. Cheers. Just in time for the auto save. Okay, we are going to do you. So we can actually expand our steel pipe production out a bit, which we will do right away. These are here. And I'm putting in splitters in case I do need to expand in the future. I can expand out that way relatively easily. How much coal are you guys using? 4, 8, 12. Okay. So Mark II belts are fine. Although I'm probably going to expand to Mark III in the future. Because I will be running out of Mark II belts pretty shortly, actually. Running out of reinforced plates. Okay. So we are now making 120 steel. No, 180 steel. Which means, I believe I can get another two of these, right? Oh, right, you missed making beams. I had these things temporarily making beams for me. Um, steel pipe. I believe they used 20. Oh, these... 30? 30. So I can, uh, yeah, I can do two more. Um, so let's do that. Let's get that going right now. Okay, now let's check out this blueprint too, because that's super frightening that two of the belts weren't hooked up. But, I mean, I feel like I've checked all the things after I hooked them up. Yeah, there's no belt on it. Have we just not used the left input blueprint? 
Huh. That's very strange. But I'm pretty sure all my previous, like, constructions, I've checked the uh, to make sure everything's running and it, it was all running, so I don't know. We'll chalk that up to I don't know. Okay. And you are making steel pipe. And your buddies here will also be making steel pipe shortly. In fact, you can take some of the steel pipe out of my inventory because I do not need it. Uh, oh, should have done this first. Because these are going the wrong direction. Okay. How are we doing? I'm going to let these build a few more. steel beams for me. So I really don't want to have to go all the way back to the main platform to grab more. So we're going to let that continue. Now we're going to go back to our concrete. Spicy train. The whole reason we got distracted in the first place is because we're building this shack with steel walls, so I needed more steel beams for it. Oh, man. Mildly unnecessary, not gonna lie. Actually, what I could do is make the roof somewhat more interesting. Actually, if we're doing this, let's do this. Yeah. Your contract okay. legally compels you to harvest this artifact. I feel legally compelled, only not at all. So there's my steel wall. Okay. Shack is almost done. The final piece to the shack. Okay, let me down. Okay, fine. Harvest it. So we are. Oops, that is not the right direction. We are probably going to have to increase concrete production as well at some point. But I'm going to wait for it to become an issue before I do it. So here's our concrete belt. Where do we want to bring it? I guess we could bring it right over top of this. And then our encased beam production is going to be in here. So yeah, we can just bring it through right here. That'll work absolutely fine. Sure. And I believe we're only making like 70 concrete or something like that. How many reinforced plates do I have? Oh, I got lots. Okay. Sweet! I have a sneaking suspicion that that belt is not making it over here in one go. Yeah, definitely not. 
How far can we get? Oh, that's pretty close. Huh. That's actually pretty level. That is not bad at all. Alright, sweet. So that is running. I do have to, like, fix up the underside of this too at some point. Not right now, though. Hmm. Okay. Let's convert all of these over to pipe. I believe you were already pipe. Cool. I got lots of... I actually don't have lots of beams. I have a moderate amount of beams right now. And we are making, what did I say? 2, 4, 4, 8, 12. 120 beam, or pipes per minute. So that's cool. So for all this uh, nuclear stuff, I have a few nuclear themed drinks lined up and they all use melon liqueur because the melon liqueur is what gives this crazy green color melon liqueur and uh, blue curacao as well because yeah uh, well it's that color so hopefully you like melon melon liqueur or melon flavoring because there's going to be a lot of drinks consisting of that That is that completed successfully. Now we need to think about assemblers and encased beams. So that is going to be like so. Now we're making a hundred and twenty. Hello? Oh, I'm looking for pipe. It's in case beam. So I can actually make six of these things, which means we need way more concrete. <laughs> oh no, sorry, not six. I'm not making 120. I need four of these, which, I mean, I still need more concrete. Ugh. I was thinking about going to use the blueprint. It's not gonna work, because I gotta, uh... I gotta do something a little fancier than that. I gotta do some fancy, uh, splitter and merger organizing. So that's not gonna work. we do here okay I think we can get rid of this and this more biomass we can just hand feed it for now kind of goes right in between. That's kind of cool. I also keep forgetting to do these outlets. Okay.
What is this attached to? Oh, that. Okay. There we go. So I should be safe to get rid of... No. Okay, should be safe to get rid of you. Still see yellow lights. You're not hooked up yet. Train station is still... Well, it's yellow, so it's got power. Okay. All right. So, how do we want to deal with this? Where is the concrete located in all of this? Hmm. It's in kind of an odd spot. Um, I wonder... Because this stuff all has to be back like this. Okay, I got an idea. So this is going to be steel. This is going to be my steel splitters. Yep. And that's easy because they're all coming from the same direction. And then my concrete is going to be like this. I guess I don't need splitters on the last one, but whatever. But this one is going to be like this. Okay. Because I'm going to have to bring my belt in on this side of the splitter. Oh, which is right in front of the power, too. Oh, well. Yeah, I'm very quickly running out of uh, my my plates, but I do need more concrete, so I might as well just do this now. That'll, that'll give me a whole bunch back. Okay. So let's get these encased beams up and running, and then we'll worry about coming back and increasing our concrete production. That sounds like a good idea to me. Okay. We will use this power line, and there's four of these I said, right? Yeah. This isn't lined up. That might not work. Oh shoot, this isn't gonna work either. Hmm. Okay, let's deal with these first. These are the easy ones. this. What do I do with you? Do you fit? No, of course not. In case beams are being made, except for in this one. What do we do with you, my friend? I 
That's all because this is coming in in an awkward location. <sighs> like, I could just run the belt this way and then down. I mean, I guess that's what we're going to do. It's not like it's not like it's a bad thing. It's just <laughs> this is gonna sound not great, but it's extra resources. Like it's extra, I'm, it's inefficient. Not that efficiency's ever really been a big issue for me at the moment, but all right. And you're backwards now. Yeah, it seems pretty late in the game to be concerned about efficiency, but. Okay. Nope. Yes. And actually, you guys can all be mark that. Okay, there we go. So we need... That's 80 concrete, and we're making like 70 something, I said. Right? Is that correct? Six seventy-five we're making. Okay, so let's look at this. So, uranium fuel rods. Three per minute. We are make we have four of these things, so we are making. 16 per minute. Is that right? Yeah, 16 per minute. Which means... We can make 5, basically. With a little bit left over. So if we are making... 5... Or we're going to have 5 um, manufacturers making these things... Let's write that down. Five manufacturers of fuel rods. <laughs> that way I don't have to keep doing all this math in my head. So, that is going to be 50 uranium per minute, which is fine. And then an extra... Oh, wait, no. Hold on. Okay, 250 uranium per minute. Slight difference. And 75 uranium. So 75 and 80 is 155 we need to double this. We need to double this building. Okay. Actually, double it and a bit. Because doubling it's going to give us 150. I mean, 155. Oh, but then we're not quite using all of it either. This isn't going to come out here very nicely, is it? This hill might give us problems. Um, okay, let's see. How wide is this building right now? One, two, three, four, five. One. I might get away with it. I think we're going to get away with it. Okay, cool. What? Is that the Manta making that sound? Wow. That is a loud Manta. Oh. I guess power's a bit of an issue out here. Okay.
So, five more. I could slug one out to get it to 155, but... Actually, I think, yeah, I think I'm going to have to. Hmm. I do think I'm going to have to. Take me to my blueprints, please. Sa, go away. So this is a right input. So let's see if we have both belts on these hooked up. I can't wait to update 8 when these snap better. Okay. Alright, oh, this is the blueprint. <laughs> Those ones were not built a blueprint, so they don't have the power pull. Woo! That's the roof. Okay. Oh, autosave. We're going for time. We got enough time to get this set up. Perfect. Okay, give me the roof. Okay, cool. Um, and you guys need a recipe. Also need one more friend. Oh no, I didn't make it long enough. <laughs> Crap. Oh, that sucks. That means that those windows or those uh, skylights actually would have worked where they were. They were in the right spot. Oh, it also means this is going to be a real bad lineup with the outputs here because of this hill being in the way oh boy okay Actually, maybe it'll be okay. And it does appear... Whoops, this is the wrong hopper. Yeah, this, this blueprint looks fine in terms of belts being connected, so that's... That's good. So we now have 15 times 10 is 100 and f wait, what? Oh, sorry, 45 times 10 is 450. But 15 times 10 is 150, so we can use the Mark III belts. You guys are not going the right direction. I just deleted the floor. That way. Oh, 
this is gonna be wonky now because of the the ground. Okay, not that wonky, I guess. Oh, you're backwards too. Oh, right, I built two sets of you. Right, 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 right. So this should be enough concrete. Ugh, whatever. This should be enough concrete for our first chunk of nuclear power and nuclear fuel production. Should, being the operative term. Okay. Cool. There we go. Uh, well, actually, almost there we go. We gotta increase this too. Do I have power slugs? I should have lots. Do I not have... Oh, 15. Okay. <laughs> Woo. Get slugged. Why? And on that note, we are going to put in our cut. So, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, please give us a like and subscribe. Autosave. It helps us out a lot. We will see you next time. Cheers.